Witam i zapraszam na kolejny odcinek Speaking English Podcast. Ja mam na imię Sebastian i pozdrawiam wszystkich słuchaczy Polski. Happy New Year, my friends. Thanks for tuning in to the Speaking English Podcast. My name is Sebastian and that was Polish, I hope, uh, which Carol was so kind to translate. So we will do Will versus Wood today. It uh, was written in by Pedram, who lives in Iran. Thanks for writing in, and uh, let it be a reminder to everybody that you can write in your questions, and I will then, hopefully, time over time, answer them. So, will versus would. Will is an auxiliary wor- verb. V versus W. Verb. Auxiliary verb. That's, that's tough. Auxiliary verb. And um, would is um, actually it's past singular and past participle, and it has a lot of um, meanings. So I put it up on the screen there, and if I'm squinting, it's because I don't have wear my glasses um, to record the show. Um, but I put it really big there on the screen and. Uh, I hope so that I won't forget. All right. So um, when you say "will," I will do this. You are saying, uh, making a reference about the future. I will go to school tomorrow. Then we can assume that tomorrow you will get up and then go to school. I will do the dishes. Hopefully you. At one point, we'll walk into the kitchen, and then you are going to turn on the faucet, clean the dishes, dry them, and put them away. Um, there's also another will. It's a noun, and it's um, a piece of a document, a paper, uh, where you uh, make, um, where you put down in paper what is supposed to happen after you die. That's the will. Okay, but that's a different will. So will, as the auxiliary verb, um, you are expressing something about the future. Now, would is used to um, express the future in past sentences. Okay, he said he would do the di- uh, dishes tomorrow. Okay, he will do the dishes tomorrow, but. We're talking about a conversation that happened in the past. He said he would do the dishes. Okay, that's one uh, form of would. Um, then you have. Uh, I have to. I, I'm not going to mention every. Uh, I'll, I'll put a link in where you can find every um, translation or every uh, way of usage. I think the most um, common one is um, if you talk about um, intention or preference. You know, I would have done the dishes, but mom already did them. Okay, so you're claiming you you were going to do the dishes, but something happened. So it's like an unfulfilled intention. That's what they call it in the, in the dictionary. You probably were going to do it, but something came up and you didn't. But you had the intention to, and that's why you say I would have done it. Okay, um, that's probably the, the most common uh, way to 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 use would. And then of course there's the conditional. A sentence okay if they had the fair or if if, if uh, you know for example the one I always do if I find a sponsor I will do this and um, since I did not find a sponsor you say if I had found a sponsor I would do much better production Okay, so it's a condition. If this happens, 
then that will happen. And if you put that into the past tense, if that had happened, I would have done this. Okay. Will versus would um, is a is a tough cookie, and you can you can hear by by me. I'm not I'm not really the the, the grammar guy uh, to to have this ingrained in me. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm also going to uh, research the link for Grammar Girl because I think she most definitely has done an episode on this. So um, let's leave it at that because I don't want to tell you anything wrong. Uh, and Oh, okay. I'm not living in New York. I live in Germany. Uh, in case you didn't know that. I, I'm a German uh, guy. I studied um, literature and English. Yes. Um, but I don't, I'm not a native speaker. So, just to be clear. Okay. Anyway, you can subscribe to the videos in uh, iTunes or on YouTube. And you can send me comments via email, speakingenglishpodcast at gmail.com. You can go to the homepage, speakingenglishpodcast.com, where you have a huge archive and you also have uh, the categories. Okay, so if you are looking for grammar episodes or episodes where I explain it, th or episodes where we talk about phrasal verbs, then you can find them all grouped together. And oh, what's also new is that we now have t-shirts. There's a link on the homepage, and if you click on that, you will find t-shirts and hats and a mug, which you can order. And uh, I'll profit a little bit from that, all right? Um, so anyway, it's a new year, and um, I'm not going to promise too much. Thank you for staying with me, and thanks for telling your friends, and... Um,